What do you get when you take Starship Troopers, boil it on a high flame, add chopped Star Wars, and sprinkle a bit of 40k Warhammer? The answer is Helldivers. The galaxy's last lie of offense. Well, in this no. case, Helldivers 2, be precise. Helldivers 1 was released in 2015 as a top-down shooter, four-player co-op game. Though it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but people who played it tell me great things about that game, and there's nothing but praise about Arrowhead Studios as well. We don't think that many other games are going to be able to offer what Helldivers 2 can. We love our game. Eh, in summary, it's another horde shooter game, and a story, class dismissed, see you later. But wait, is it? Hi. I'm an ex-herbal warrior, and I love playing co-op shooter games, especially the hard, challenging, torturing ones. Now, Helldivers 2, though it may seem like it is another horse shooter, but do not be deceived by its shooty bits. You're going to be piloting your own destroyer. In the game of Helldivers 2, you are going to spend most of your time in combat. You're going to be playing as Boba Fett. The Mandalorian, or otherwise known as a Helldiver. Your soldiers fighting for the Super Earth, or the Federation, are going to be piloting your own destroyers, which can be upgraded to aid you in battle. We will discuss further about it in a second. So there are numerous things that set Helldivers 2 apart from a lot of other common horde shooter games. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of that, but a few interesting features that are very appealing to myself. Like mentioned earlier, you will have your own destroyer, a locked and loaded ship that will allow you to call in air support or stratagems. Not a lot of co-op shooter games offer that, apart from mill sim games which you have to live in. I find this feature very interesting personally. As you progress, you can upgrade your destroyer and eagles to have that tactical advantage and total control of the battlefield. I'm very curious and very interested as when playing as a squad, the game is going to be peer to peer. So whose destroyer are you going to be in and if the progress is going to be individual? Perhaps it's going to be the host's destroyer and the progress will be individual and hopefully not capped to the host of the game. Let me know about your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, the armor in the game is not cosmetic only, but offers different playstyles such as a tank or a nimble uh, assassin point man. A very important feature in the game is that there are several planets and procedurally generated maps and also somewhat terrain changes due to battle, which I believe will offer a ton of replayability to the game. Not to mention that the game is promised to be a live service game with no BS or FOMO. The enemies are going to vary from bugs or aliens to terminators or automatons with various others that haven't been revealed yet. Another interesting or cool thing for me personally is that the devs promise to keep close interaction with the community through the game, monitoring how the game is being played and adding positive or negative mutators to the game to keep things spicy. Lastly but not the least, another interesting bit gameplay wise is that you will have small squad based orders to complete on the personal order level something that you and your squad can do all together maybe you'll be sent off to kill a couple of really terrifying enemies and only in a specific way and if you do it exactly in that way you'll get a reward for having done the good work of super earth and depending on the difficulty different objectives varying from an operation is a uh, number of missions on lower difficulties, you have fewer missions. As you go into higher difficulties, you get more missions per operation. In a mission, you don't simply have one thing that you're doing. You need to shoot the nuclear missile. You need to start up the generators for it. You need to find the launch codes. These are objectives spread out on the map. 
There's also secondary optional objectives. You don't have to do it, but you are rewarded if you do. Sometimes you find an artillery gun that you can load up and then you can use uh, that artillery gun. But there's also hostile ones. There are artillery emplacements, buildings that disables you from using your stratagems, gooey bug structures that spreads fog. However, you will have big orders or objectives for the community as a whole. The current top military priority is. They are broken out into two types of orders, major orders and personal orders. Major orders are big, long-lasting things that the community as a whole is working towards. These are things that are central to the story. There are ways in which you can be a major contributor to changing the face of the galaxy itself. That's going to take the combined effort of Helldivers across the galaxy working toward that type of thing. Now, this is the most interesting bit that I believe will set this game apart from others. The devs haven't revealed a lot of information as to how this is going to play out, but we will find out soon enough merely in time as the game is being released on the 8th of February, which seems like an eternity away. Now, other than the already fans of the franchise, some of you might be hesitant to buy the game straight away or pre-order it. Fear not, for I shall stream the game on this channel on YouTube on the 8th of February as soon as it is out. Stay tuned for more videos. Okay, we need to find the terminal bile titan. Uh, I think it's this way. There's some enemies here. Okay, I'm covering you on the right. We're covering your rear. Oh, there's loads of them. I'm switching to flamethrower. Oh, oh god, there oh, it's the bile titan! Oh, I died. Reinforcing. Oof, I have to run. All right, I'm back. Can you guys take him out with the recoilers? Yeah, I'll try to take him down from the side. Reload my uh, recoilers. On it. Oh, I got enemies on my back as well. Oh, there's a charger here. I'm gonna take out the brute commander. He's he's charging me. We take out the charger with the recoilers. All right. Reload me. Nice. I'm gonna thin out the crowd a little bit. There are a lot of them coming. My guard dog is taking care of the little ones. Oh, oh! I'm throwing out the strafing runs to try to take out the small guys. Uh, oh no, you killed me! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> One small death for the Helldivers. Reinforcing. Okay, should we do something? Should we strategize? I'm, I'm drawing his attention. Alright, I don't think I have an option. We need to throw in the 500 kilogram bomb. I'm throwing it out. Oh god, uh, he's coming for me. Getting out of the way. There okay, we go. Okay, there we Good go. Good job. Nice. Good job, guys. Well done, Helldivers. Another win for Super Earth. After each successful mission, players are rewarded for their efforts, allowing them to upgrade their ship, weapons, armor, and stratagems giving them the edge in the many battles to come. I hope you enjoyed seeing a glimpse of just one of the many missions and planets the game has to offer. Now go out there and spread managed democracy.